Hello, my name is Will Carmack and I recently worked for Amazon Prime. I was working on The Boys, season two. Not the actual show, just some promotional content. And it gave me a really good excuse to do the A-Train super speed effect. I didn't watch a tutorial on how to do it, I kind of made the effect my own, and I really like the way I did it. And so today's tutorial is how to do this A-Train super speed effect. So you know the drill, let's hop into After Effects. Ah, did you guys hear that? And now that everything is in After Effects, let's break down how we need to film this effect. We always want to keep it on a tripod, of course. Maximize efficiency. Doing VFX on a moving shot just triples the work. And then two, you need to have your actor react to something happening because of super speed. You know, doing these effects are cool and flashy, but the way they are impressive, or the way we make them impressive, is when the effect affects the real world. And so the way I was thinking about this shot if someone runs by super fast, maybe the lamp falls over and a bunch of like paper flies from off screen. And so to accomplish that look, I had my friend Olivia sit at this desk while she's writing. And so it would make sense that paper would be nearby. And then when I cue her to react to the super speed, I'm off camera and I tilt the lamp over, giving her a physical object to touch and react to because of the effect. And then in a separate shot, I threw some napkins and some paper across the screen, which I will later mask out and put in. And lastly, we have a clip of me running across the screen a little slow. So we basically have a bunch of different shots we need to blend together. So let's hop into After Effects and show you the process. So we actually wanna start with the clip where I am running across the screen. We wanna put this in the shot with Olivia, specifically behind her. So my first steps is going to be mask out me as A-Train, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut him out and animate him to run behind her. So I'm gonna use the rotoscope brush tool, because since we're gonna speed this effect up, I don't need the edges to look good. And so I basically roughly rotoscoped out me running across the frame. And so now here we have the layer. You can see the edges are a little rough. And if we put that on top of the layer with Olivia, we can see the framing. So he is basically gonna run right behind her and behind that desk. And so now that we have a cutout of me running, there's a lot of animations that we want to apply onto this. If we isolate this layer, let's look at some effects. First of all, I want me to be running a little faster because at normal speed, it doesn't look anything crazy. I right click on my clip, I come to time stretch and I type in 50 to make it 50% faster. And so now if we watch that back, I run much quicker behind Olivia. And now we can start animating it to be a little more flashy. My first steps are always to throw on a few different blur effects. In my opinion, there's no right or wrong one. I went with a radial fast blur and I animated the amount and the direction to start and kind of rotate as I run through the screen. I don't know what the physics are about it, but having the light kind of twirl, in my mind, sold the effect that he was running really fast. It's like he's running so fast he's bending light, was the way I thought about it. I'm gonna duplicate these layers with some blur on them, and I'm going to offset them by a few frames. Because when you're running that fast, I'd like to imagine there's just a crazy trail behind you. And so I wanna add that little trail because when A-Train does run in the boys, there's a blue trail that kind of follows it. So by duplicating these clips and offsetting it, we're replicating that effect. And what I'm gonna do with all of these little cutouts is I'm gonna make them a little bit brighter with the exposure effect. And then I will like sequentially make each trail of my cut out, be a little blurrier and a little more see-through. Oh, oh yeah, and throw a glow effect on there. Crank the radius up a bit. I think adding glow to anything moving really fast is cool. It also makes it stand out in case it's going too fast. Okay, and now that's the speed animation. You've basically done it. Because now as I run by Olivia, I have this cool light flare that kind of reflects off my body. So he is basically gonna run right behind her and behind that desk. So we need to mask out the desk and Olivia. So I grab the pin tool and I mask out the desk and I mask out Olivia. 
I track the masking keyframes on the Olivia mask just because her head moves a little bit. And now if we put the masked running person layer behind the masked out Olivia, you can now see what it's gonna look like. I run right behind her. It looks pretty stiff. So we need to come to our mask panel. So hit M twice on Olivia and we're just gonna crank the feather up. So the light kind of blends into her hair more than just being a jagged cut. And if we watch that back, that looks really good. And it's cool that the lamp falls over. We blended in the scene, but now we need to blend it in a little more. Because A-Train is blue and when he runs, his little run trail is blue, I wanna replicate that blue glow. So I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and I'll apply the curves effect onto it. If I turn up the whites and the blues, I get this nice blue brightness. I'm gonna create a mask around me as A-Train and I will create a mask path keyframe and just keyframe and animate that adjustment layer to have the blue glow follow me and stay on screen for a little bit. So now we're adding one more layer that affects the environment. The blue glow is now not only on A-Train but it's infecting like the room and Olivia. And if we watch that back, I don't know, that's pretty sick. And now you're basically done but the last little bit of blending I wanted to do is I threw those napkins in that piece of paper across the screen. I'm just going to frame by frame mask those little suckers out. It takes a little while, but after you're done, because the napkins kind of leave frame, you can just throw them in there at any moment. And I wanted A-Train's speed to create a little shock wave afterwards. So after the initial and it knocks the lamp over, I added in the pieces of paper flying. Just so it's like if that makes sense. And then before we're done, it would be a shame if we didn't add some nice sexy camera movement because when you have something cool and like violent or maybe just aggressive as running that fast, we feel it a bit more visually, we feel it a bit more viscerally, 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 if we can also see and feel the camera shake. So I'm gonna pre-compose everything uh, just so we have a nice tidy timeline to do this in. And I'm just going to create a new null. And if we grab the little spiral, which we call the pick whip tool, and drag it onto the null. So now what happens is anything we do to the null will happen to our pre-composition. So I'm gonna scale the video up 5%. And so I will frame by frame animate the position to go left and right and left and right. And if I do that for the entirety of A Train running through the scene, when we watch it back, it just gives out that little oomph you wouldn't think it needed. And so that is my special effects breakdown of how A-Train runs really fast. It's not Compound V, it's After Effects. Okay, so now that we have learned together, I'm gonna throw it to my sponsor, which is actually a real commercial I made. And so, enjoy this brand deal. Meet the Aeropuff. The easiest, safest, and coolest flying toy out there. With its intuitive motion sensors, you can control the aero puck with just your hands. Just toss it into the air and try and keep up. The aero puck is brought to you by the people that invented and patented self flying toys. So that's why it looks sick, can't break, and doesn't need a controller. And if you love options, you can pick up this HoverTech Dual Pack to also get the Aerosphere. This handheld helicopter is lightweight and durable. Turn it on, watch the propeller spin, and use the motion sensors to play with your friends. These little choppers were made for indoor use, so do yourself a favor and make your home a little more exciting. Get yourselves a freaking aero puck. Top link in the description below. Follow me on Instagram. You guys know I'm on a mission to have the most fire Instagram ever. And that's how I and that's how I get these jobs with like Amazon Prime. So if you want to see the kind of content that makes me money, you can do it too. For my effects. Make that make that special effects money. Alright? And as always, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day. Sorry I looked in the viewfinder so much. That's like I fucking hate doing that. It's so narcissistic. Okay, Alexa, turn all of my lights red. Ooh, that's actually not cool at all. Alexa, turn lamp white. Hey, that's kind of cool. 
Wow, I fuck with that. Alexa, turn television purple. Whoa. All right, this is it. This is the, this is the new thing.